Okay, now I want to take a few minutes here in helping us understand the full gamut of really what happens when a spouse dies, when you lose a spouse. And these are a complete best scenario. In a little bit, we're going to be going over some variables, and some of the variables, of course, would alter the degree or the definition of some of the things I'm going to tell you, uh, tell you about that, are, that I've experienced, but uh, these are the various aspects. So when you're helping someone deal with the spouse loss, these are the losses that they may have to work through. And they're many times not always addressed. And I found that I, by going back and realizing, oh, this is what I'm missing right now, or here's, here's where that hole is that it needs to be understood or dealt with or filled back in or whatever. And so understanding the lo lo all the losses that a spouse would be experiencing when their mate dies. First of all, a family member has died, okay? Now, that family member would either be a parent also, or a sibling, or a child. When my first wife died, she was all of those. Her parents were still alive and living near us. So, a family member died, their daughter, or my children's mother died. Uh, you know, so that's her role as a family member. And Anytime a family loses one of its members, there's a particular hole, there's a, a void a missing. And when a spouse dies, that hole is one of the losses that comes into play. A family member has died, and that's crucial, that's significant. I don't want to um, minimize that in any way. Another one is a partner is gone. I talked to a gentleman uh, on the phone for a, at length uh, in counseling, and it was as a result, he, his loss was a divorce. And he says, you know what? Probably when she finally moved out of the house, the biggest thing I missed wasn't the romance. That was gone a long time ago. That's why the marriage broke down partially. But he says, what I really miss is I don't have a partner anymore. I don't have a partner in parenting my kids. I don't have a partner in managing and operating our household that, or a, a business in some cases. So in, he says, I, I miss that. That, was, that really hurts, not having a partner anymore in life and all those things. So understanding that that's in and of itself a loss that is missing when a spouse dies and that person has to adjust to that part of, of them and their relationship and their life existence is, is gone, is missing. Another one is a friend. Now it's true, not all couples are married to their best friend, but many are. And for, for those that are, at least when it comes to certain subject matters of intimacy, that friend is gone. And I recall not realizing that's what was missing. I longed for somebody to tell how I was feeling to. I always told it to my wife and she's gone. And I remember two different people uh, having saying, hey, can we go for a check? I'll be glad to have a, take a walk with you. So we did that, and I just found myself, one was a man and one of my, one of my staff, um, and we went for a walk, and, um, and I was just kind of sharing with him some of my thoughts, some of my feelings, what I was going through, and uh, you know, the, the challenge and so forth of life right now, and, and later he told me that made him feel really uncomfortable, partly because it was an intimate conversation and I was longing for something like that because it was missing now. I had nobody to fill that void um, in my life at that level. So having a, uh, losing a friend is also a loss that the spouse goes through whenever the other one has died. Okay. Now, the, the other one that everybody would obviously think of is a lover, and that's true. 
if you've ever maybe maybe you have had experience of a, a teenage heartbreak or even a 20-something marriage I mean marriage proposal that fell apart before the wedding if you've had any kind of a breakdown in in a love relationship you have a pretty good idea of what that's like only in marriage it goes to the next level we're talking about heart emotion that be, that is broken and hurting we're talking about romance is gone that that is oftentimes uh, craved by so many couples that, with each other and then of course the subject of sex uh, comes into play and I cover that in the book but um, and we'll deal with that a little bit later on another subject but that has to be that it's, it's gone and there's a, a void there that has to be coped with uh, another one that uh, it took me a little while to realize I was probably, it was probably three week, three months after both of my wives died when I found myself coping with this one here, and that's called identity. Who am I now? I'm no longer Ruth's husband. I'm no longer Judith's husband. I'm no longer a couple. I'm, I no longer am a part of this definition relationship because each relationship every, that you have, every marriage, is made up of agreements, compromises in some areas, and agreements. That's, I'm not a part of that anymore. I am just me. And who is me now? Who is me? I've never been just me for 20 years. Who am I? And where do I fit in? And um, yeah, so it's a it's a, a major identity crisis that some people f fall into. Now I've known of some people who've lost a spouse that refuse to go through this part of the grief process. That, you know, years later they still call themselves so-and-so's wife. They still refer to us they still wear their ring and some wear it because of safety reasons and that, that's understandable, but some wear it for identity. I'm still that person's spouse. And, and sometimes that's a denial of this refusal to, to go through this part of the loss. They just, something they can cling to. Um, and that's a, that can be a challenge. Another one is future. Now I'm gonna talk about some of the ways this comes into play a little bit later here, but when it talks about the future, we're talking about dreams, hopes, plans, uh, objective, where, you know, kind of a thing. And every couple has ideas about where they would want to be going, where, they, where they're headed, uh, what would they'd like to do. Some even are so methodical that they have a five year plan and all that stuff. But at the same time, all of that goes away. Even the security of being able to work towards a certain plan in life together. That's a certain amount of security. If I have somebody with me, I'm, I'm more focused. I'm able to hone in on that. I can see that happening with us together, but now that that spouse is gone, that future is gone and living with that loss takes an, takes an adjustment. And oftentimes identification, re, re, being able to even identify that that is, I've, that's gone. That is not even an option anymore because my spouse is no longer uh, in the picture.